Hello, I'm Jonathan Stiano, a consultant plastic surgeon and the owner and director of the Stiano Clinic, which is here in Edgebaston in Birmingham. And I'm going to talk about whether to use drains or glue when performing a tummy tuck. I've used both, and my preference is to use drains, and I'm going to tell you why. When you perform a tummy tuck, you remove all of the skin from the belly button down to the pubic area. And in order to close the wound, what you have to do is to have to undermine quite widely up to the zipper sternum, up to the rib cage, in order to elevate the skin uh, and then stretch it down uh, to close up the wound. And this creates a space. And the problem is that fluid can collect in that space and can form a hematoma, which is blood collecting in the space, or a seroma, which is serous or wound fluid uh, collecting in the space. So we need to somehow close down that space. And that is the purpose of using drains or glue. They're both performing the same purpose, which is to close down the space uh, that is created when that skin flap is elevated to, to pull it down. You can see from this case that there are stretch marks extending above the umbilicus, above the belly button, and all the tissue below the belly button gets pulled down. But because the tissue that's from the belly button up gets stretched to form the whole of the abdomen, the stretch marks are then pulled down. In this lady, there's a vertical scar which goes from the belly button down, and that has been completely removed following the tummy tuck, However, the, uh, you can see that the skin above the, the, the uh, belly button has then been stretched down to recontour and uh, improve the shape of the abdomen. But in order to stretch that skin down, all the skin uh, above the uh, belly button has to be um, mobilized and, and pulled down. In this lady, you can see from the moles the extent of the, the skin that's been stretched and pulled down to give you some idea of what is required uh, during the operation of a tummy tuck. Now, the purpose of using glue is because drains can be a bit uncomfortable and it can be a nuisance to have to carry the drains around. Also, my personal preference is not to allow patients to go home with drains, so they do keep you in the hospital uh, for um, one or two nights, sometimes three. Uh, and so there, there, are, there are good reasons to, to use glue. Uh, the reason I don't use glue is because, number one, I think patients are often a little bit uncomfortable after a tummy tuck, and so... Uh, are, are quite happy to stay in hospital for one or two nights while they recover. Um, so even if you use glue, it might be that uh, you'd want to stay in hospital for one or two nights while you recover and you become mobile again. And the, the other reason is that uh, uh, my concern is that when you wake up from the tummy tuck, if you cough or if you move, there might be some shearing forces that might create that, that cause that glue layer to, to shear and, uh, and then to open up. And so there's an increased risk of getting seroma uh, with, the, with the glue compared to drains because drains are on a constant suction and so it doesn't matter if you move, it doesn't matter if you cough. In fact, we encourage you to move and cough uh, because it's important you don't get a chest infection, it's important that you don't get blood clots and all the other problems that can, uh, that can be associated with tummy tuck and so you need to get up and on your feet and start moving around and taking deep breaths and what have you and the suction drains are there to continuously suck down those skin flaps and close down that dead space. So in my view and in my practice, I still do use drains uh, following a tummy tuck. Uh, we're trying to use drains less and less in cosmetic surgery, and certainly a lot of breast surgery, uh, I'm using drains less and less, and for breast reductions and breast augmentations, I try and avoid using drains, although I still do sometimes use them for a bigger breast reduction. But tummy tuck's one of those operations where there's quite a large space that needs to be closed down. And that is the reason that, uh, personally, I prefer drains. But what I would say is talk to the surgeon. You'll find that a lot of plastic surgeon surgery, there's no right or wrong. We've all got our own views. We've all got our own techniques. And uh, we spend time perfecting and honing those techniques. If one technique was the best, we would all use it. If drains were the best, everyone would use them. If glue was the best, everyone would use them. So it's not that one or other is the best. It's just what people find um, to be the best in their hands. And certainly in my practice, I've got a very low rate of seromas, which is a fluid collection. Uh, and I put that down to the fact that the suction drain really effectively closes down uh, that space. So if you have any questions, and as ever, I'd be very happy to answer them. You can always email me. You can get in touch through our website. Uh, you can email me at info at stianoplasticsurgery.co.uk, or you can comment on the video, uh, and I'd be very happy to uh, answer your questions. And you'd be welcome to come to the clinic to have a consultation where we can discuss uh, the pros and cons of, uh, of tummy tuck to see if it might be right for you. Hope you find that helpful. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.